What's up YouTube, I'm back in the still standing garage and in this video I'm going to replace the turn signal switch on the Rego here. So this is the part right here. I did get it from Napa, I am going to put the part number in the description of this video. But they do make two different part numbers for these cars because they make one without corner lights and then one with corner lights which I, know, I thought at first that they were talking about this corner light but they're actually talking about these corner lights that are actually on the fenders and that's what I have so this is the part that I got for it which is with corner lights and the reason I'm changing it out is because for a very long time since I used to daily this car I did have problems with my turn signal I tried fixing it and I never was able to but you see when it goes up it doesn't stay clicked on when it goes this way it does work so I am going to open that up and I'm going to see if that's the case because I know when I replaced it or tried to replace it before I couldn't and I didn't I didn't have the patience to so now I have patience and I'm going to take care of it today. Don't worry, I'm still sanding the Monte over here. If you guys are following me, waiting for that update on the Monte here, I'm still sanding it. Still sanding in the still standing garage, so stay tuned for those. I'm just taking breaks and working on the on the Rego here. And that's these projects that I do on the Rego usually take about a day. And then I get back on the Monte over here. But the sanding is kind of boring and I don't want to make a whole bunch of volumes of, of still sanding. So let's go. All right, YouTube, so I did want to show you that I did install my stereo back into it, the original one that I had in the Regal back in the day. Uh, if you guys saw the last video on the Regal here, I did mention I was gonna put it on, so I wanna show you guys what that looks like. Let me turn on the key. Look at that, it's a nice Kenwood. So I did also install a Bluetooth uh, device so I could connect my phone to it. When I'm driving, I could play some Pandora. So right now what I'm gonna play, I actually have um, the YouTube library here because I can't play any other music to show you guys just because of copyright reasons So let me show you it. It should be hooked up right now. So let me I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. It's working really, really nice. I know sometimes you can't hear the bass through videos, but it feels really nice in here. It sounds really nice. I don't think I've ever showed you guys the audio, but that's not what this video is about, the, the speakers and the system. Let me turn it off and look what the stereo does. That's tight. I think that's tight. All right, so let's get back into the whole uh replacing the turn signal switch right here so let me see if i can give you guys a really good view so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing let's go first things first is i'm gonna remove the cover here and i'm gonna use a 930 second socket to remove the screws that are behind it let me take those off set this off to the side now what i have to do is remove the the clip right here so I gotta remove this clip so I could take off that that uh, nut that's back here. That's what actually holding on the steering wheel. So let me do that real quick. And what I'm gonna try to use to remove them or to remove that clip is gonna be this right here. So let me see if it will come out without jumping anywhere. Yes, sir. And there it is. Removed it, put that off to the side. And then let me get a nut so I can remove that nut right there. And then the steering wheel puller will put that on there and start taking it off. Let's go. The size of this nut is actually 13 16. That's what I'm going to be using to remove it. Shouldn't be on there too tight. Let me see. We'll find out right now. Yeah, it's not on there too tight. Remove that real quick. When putting this back on, the bolt right here actually has a groove in it. And so does the steering wheel. So I could line it up back to where it was before and I wouldn't have any problems with it being all crooked or cockeyed or whatever. So now let's pull the, the steering wheel off. All right, so I have my steering wheel puller here. So I'm gonna install it right now. So we can take this off. There it goes. Making sure we're not messing anything up. And it pulled out. It came out. So there it is, it's off. Put this off to the side. Now that's what 
what it looks like. Got to take off this cover right here. I'm going to take it up with the screwdriver. So just go in there, twist off, and kind of pull on it. See, and it comes off. Really didn't have to put it in the, put the screwdriver on the bottom one and set this off to the side. All right. Now, got to remove this little snap ring that's holding this, this piece right here, which is that one right there. If you guys can see, it's a little ring. So there's a special tool to push this down. It's going to be this one right here so this right here i'll put a, a a link in the description on amazon this is on amazon that's where i got it from so let me put it on i'll show you guys how this works it's actually threaded right here so you put it on here you screw it on so that piece right there nice and snug and then this these two pieces actually touch that, that ring right there. That part and this is what's actually gonna make it go down is this right here. Let me let me show you as I'm twisting how it goes down. You guys can check that out. And it's just gonna give us enough room to remove that um that ring right there. So you see how there's a gap now? right there so now i can remove that that ring with no issues whatsoever what i'm gonna use to remove that that clip is just gonna be a regular screwdriver i'm just gonna try to bring it up this way uh little by little and it should come up hey take it easy it is very hot <laughs> i'd already mentioned that but man super hot in here got my jug of water over here i need to drink it dehydrate right here so it's coming out just maneuvering it out of that groove is the that's what we're trying to do what i'm trying to do yeah there it is so now it's, it's off out of that groove so now we can loosen this up and we're going to use this same tool to put everything back together it's a process to get to this damn turn signal switch now you know why I wasn't patient enough to try to replace it. So there's still a little bit more I had to do to the column. But um, it is what it is. So now it's loose. Take this off. Put it off to the side. Take this off. Put this off to the side. Make sure I don't lose that ring there. Is it greasy? I don't want to put this on my... Put it on my dash over here. Take this off right here for the horn and then that's what this looks like right here Let's see if I can get a light but um gotta replace that right there what I have to do now is uh remove these um Phillips screwdrivers screwdriver Phillips uh uh screws and then right there I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver and then right there is only three of them here um so actually there's four there's one right here one right here one up here and then the one that i'm removing right now so that's four of them i think i only showed you guys three take off this little lever which actually goes to this right here i should replace this too the little cruise control thing only well, is a little busted but um it is what it is off to the side don't want any grease on my dashboard so in order to remove the top one, gotta switch it all the way down. Kind of boring to do this and show you guys this, but um, you know, hopefully this helps somebody else out out there. Just trying to do the same thing and trying to replace their turn signal. Just trying to figure out how to do it. Right now, like I said, I, I have the patience now to try to take my time and do it right. So let's do this. Almost off. There's another thing too that I just noticed too. You gotta remove the. This, the hazard um, switch here to be able to pop it out. So, gotta remove this, this right here, which is a Phillips uh, screw as well. So take that off. Only this side works, and then the other side doesn't, so it's probably gonna be the bulb in there, so I'm gonna have to replace that. Let's um, pop this back in. Where's my flathead screwdriver? I don't wanna get grease all over my hands. There we go. So now, gotta start working on the column. 
because the cable does run from right here it goes all the way down to the column down there all right youtube so the panel that i'm telling you that i need to remove is going to be this one right here so this one right here so i got to remove that it has a couple of screws right here one right here and then the other one right here so i got to remove that real quick and then i'll bring you guys back on so i can show you what i'm talking about all right youtube so i had to remove my switch panel over here to get to that panel because it, it does go all the way up here and look at all these wires this is probably from my alarm and from for my uh switch for the for the windows because the, the alarm does control the windows to go up and down all right so the switch is actually this one right here this big one it's actually pretty big and to get to that and fish it all the way through the column over here i do have to remove this bracket to get to it so it, the column is actually held on by these two nuts here so it's screwed on and there's the other one is up here it's this one right here so i got to remove those but before i do that i am going to loosen these up so that way it makes it easier to remove them from the column because this bracket like i said is protecting these wires here and that's it goes up through there and it'll be easier to fish it through with that bracket off so let me loosen these up and then i'll remove that right there real quick it's kind of hard to give you guys a really good angle it probably looks very uh complex on video all right youtube so these bolts right here are actually 13 millimeter uh socket to remove them and then uh the ones on top over there the big ones uh, let me see where my finger at those up there those are actually 15 so all of them are pretty loose so i just got to remove it and drop down the column a little bit and then we should keep it moving from there try to fish that um that cable through all those cables i said those cables through the column and then i will try to pull it out through the front over here let's go so i already unplugged the the plug there i couldn't show you because like i said there's a lot of wires there and it, it looks very complicated but it's not so i already unplugged unplugged it which is this one right here i unplugged it i did also have to unplug the two other ones that are coming from the column as you can see right here they're coming through there i had to unplug them so i could remove this this little plastic, this plastic is what these wires go into. They go into and then they get fed up into the, the column here. So they go in there and that's what actually keeps them all pretty much organized. So I removed this so that way I could be able to fish this one through. So now, as you can see, as I push it, let me see if I can give you a good angle. Look at the top there. You see how it's going up and down? So all I got to do is fish it through the top here and then uh, I should be able to remove it completely. So let me let me pull that out. See if we can get this one going in nice and smooth. Hopefully, it all works out. It's going, it's going. And it's a little stuck. I think it's going in there crooked. So, let me see. Let me try that again. Ooh, I think it's coming. Yes. And there it is. It's out. So now let's put the now let's put the other one together and compare it. Hopefully it's exactly the same. There they are, side to side or side by side. Thinking about switches over here, side to side. <laughs> so they're exactly the same. I already looked at them. Pretty much the same uh, here. And then the cabling or the wiring over here, the plug, is exactly the same. So I should be able to replace it, no problem. And I shouldn't have any issues with anything else, hopefully. So let me fish it back down the, the column and then um, we'll keep it moving. Fish it through. Through the hole right there. Start popping it in. Let me see where we're at. Looks like we need to maneuver this a little bit more. Just pushing it down. Without messing up the wires. And then we can start putting it in. This one's sticking out a little bit too much. Let's put it in. So it goes like this. do now is push it down and hopefully pull it from the other side and it doesn't get stuck in anywhere else yep and I feel it already so there it is it's back in there put all my little screws back in so pretty much 
this is how how it goes uh up here is pretty much the reverse of everything everything's pretty much uh, self-explanatory as you know how i took it off but reverse putting it back on so let me put all this back on like i said and then i'll go down there and show you how everything hooks up so we were we'll keep uh we're keeping this video kind of short I already put everything uh together on top except for the steering wheel i want uh to leave the steering wheel off to give me some room to uh work down here so this little plastic guide i will call it a guide because this is where the wires these wires here from the column were inside and then it tucks up in here and then it actually comes out this way so let me put these wires in there so they go in there like this kind of slide it in there gotta make sure they stay in there there's a lot of wires down here it's from my i think i mentioned it already but it's from my alarm when they installed it and then it has like a little remote too that uh actually controls the windows too so so yeah let me see so this actually goes in a little bit deeper so it goes in like that there it is so it's pretty much how it was like this and it goes over the the nuts this is where the not the nuts the the bolts go on where the bracket goes so the bracket does go in there and then i think when they ended up doing when they uh, put my alarm is that um they took this off from where it belongs it actually goes up here if you see this little um bracket right here once it's clipped on to all, all these uh plugs right here it actually clips on right here so they took it off because obviously it gets in the way but i'm gonna try to put it back on i'm gonna try to tuck it away the best i can but i am gonna try to put this back on up here once i clip it on i'm gonna try to dress up these wires but everything's on there i'll bring you guys back on as soon as i'm i'm about to put the bracket up here so i already try to put my my bundle of joy of wires over here uh up as much as i could without distorting anything so it's time to put this back on there it is so that goes in there like so. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, let me see if you guys can see this. So there's this cable here. You see this right here? It's like a little bracket. It actually hooks onto the column here. And what that does, if you guys didn't know, it controls the, you see how it's moving? So when you pull the lever over here in this lever it rotates the column and it brings it down to to uh whatever gear you're in so i might have to do some adjusting because i did move it so like i said when you put you pull the lever here it actually rotates the whole column here not the whole column but this part right here and that's what makes it uh turn so i'm probably gonna have to adjust it as i move it i mean i didn't know it was on there i mean for a long time i didn't know that but yeah so put on those nuts and then i gotta put on these uh these four uh bolts so let me see are you pinching anything no 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 i did get that um the switch on that bracket like i was trying to it just needed to maneuver the wires around and like i said the camera was in my way so i couldn't really you know adjust it how i wanted it so let me tighten the top one and then i'm gonna be on the lookout and making sure that none of them none of these wires are being pinched so that's pretty much how i'm gonna do it that's pretty much what this bracket does it holds up the column here so i gotta tighten it up make sure make sure everything's good all right youtube so i put everything back together everything's looking real good really nice so let's try this out let me uh turn the key hopefully the music doesn't start playing try that one on this side So that works right there. One thing that I've always had an issue with is that these don't turn on. So now I know that the turn signal is uh, turn signal switch is working properly how it's supposed to. So then I could tackle those type of uh, issues now. So now, see that's what I was worried about. So that's working really good. So let's try the other side. Still have to change the bulb. See on the dash it doesn't indicate that the the left side is activated. So let's do the other side stays on that was a problem i was having with it that one uh shows that the bulb is working let's check the back first 
so that's working good it's looking really good let's check the front so there's got to be an issue with uh with wiring maybe even my relay so see this one does work but again the corner lights over here they don't work so like i said at least the turn signal switches um is replaced everything's ready to go i hope this video helps somebody out there i know it was uh, pretty boring you know trying to put this together but at least it's uh, swapped out and uh, hopefully it helps somebody else out that's out there and is looking to do the same thing to their uh, g body so thank you for watching let's keep it moving let's go oh.